Okay, so we are continuing in Hilchot Beit HaBechira, Perak Shlishi, and we just did the basic components of the menorah, but, uh, and the last thing we did was counting up all of the cups and the flowers and the knobs. Um, we didn't even finish reading the halacha, though, actually, I'm realizing now. So in halacha Gimel, Nimsu Kolha Gavim Shnaim Be'esrim, turns out all of the cups are 22, um, Vaprachim Tisha and the flowers are nine. Vahakaftorim Achadasar and the, the knobs are eleven. And this is what we didn't read. The Kulan Ma'akvin Zeze. They're all Ma'akev each other. Afil Echamin Hashnaim Vaarbaim Ma'akev Es Kulan. Even yeah. Are you like using it? I'm not using it, yeah. Um so they're all Ma'akev each other. Even even if one of the the 42 is missing, it'll be Ma'akib, all of them. So that's a really interesting thing, okay? <laughs> that they're all Ma'akib each other. Okay, however, now this is gonna be the, the, the shocker here, okay? Um, in Halakha Dalit now. Bame Devarim Amurim. Okay, when is this talking about? Bisha Asa'uha Zahav. That's if you made the menorah out of gold, okay? About Lishilish Arm Mine Matachos, but if you made it out of other types of metals, um, Oh, you know what? We didn't read this halacha. Hold on, we have to actually go back. Um, yeah, sorry, hold on. Just a second. I don't even have this in the, in the PDF. Hello. Um, let me, let's go to, go to Hilkoth Beis HaBechira, um, Perak Aleph, uh, halacha Yudches. Let's see here. Um, Aleph Yudches says, oh yeah, okay. Um, a menorah of a kelala, uh, the menorah and its kelim, v'ashulchan v'kelav, and the shulchan and its kelim, umizbach haktoros v'chol kle hashares, and the mizbach haktoros, the gold one, and all of its, uh, uh, um, you know, accompanying vessels, its ministering vessels, you can only make them out of metal. If you made them out of wood or bone or stone or glass, then they are, um, they're possible. Now here's the shocking halacha, okay? If the congregation is poor, you can make them even out of lead. And if they become wealthy, Osin osan shel zav. Then you make them out of gold. Afilu hamizrakos v'hashtipodim v'hamigrafos shel mizbach ola. Even the oh, I always forget what these words are. The mizrakos shipudim are the skewers. All right, I, I gotta look up the English here. Mizrak is a basin. Even the basins and the shipudim and the magrafos. What's a magrafa? Anyone know? What is this? This is Perak Aleph in Beis Bechira. Uh, halacha yuches. Magrifa is a rake, and the rakes, Shel Mizbach Ola, Vahamidos, and the, the Midos, Imish Koach Batsibor, if the Tibor is able to, Osino Sanchez, then you make them out of gold. Afilu Shari Hazara, even the gates of the Azara, you make them out of gold. And Machapi No San Zahav, you gild them with gold. Imatsa Yadam, if they're able to. Um, yeah, so uh, this was this is the thing um, that I think a lot of people find shocking is you don't have to make them in order out of gold. Right, um, you don't have to make any of the came out of gold. Uh, you can make them out of as long as they're out of metal. What was that? Right, but only if they're anim. Only if they're anim. Uh, right, yeah. But it sounds like this is a thing where you. Um, that's what we were talking about uh, before she started. Yeah, as the pesukim say shel zahav, but apparently the halacha is not like that. You know, and in fact, it's fine. So that would. In this is due to empire saying that all these things are mocking if it's Zahav, although I'm now wondering where you, where you get that it doesn't have to be Zahav. I'm that's wondering whether and that feel, feels like there's probably some other puzzles or something else there. Right. Well, I mean, that's what you have your, your Mishnah Torah for, right? Yeah. <laughs> if you want to know what the Ramam sources are. Um, but th this is why the uh, the Mahon Ha Mishkan, whatever uh, menorah, is not made out of gold. Are you? Uh, really? Yeah, it's. it's um, I, th this is one of the few We're things. Not I don't no, but I'll, there's, there's, a, there's a, a bigger problem. And I don't know actually how people solve this. Oh, hold on just a second. Let me just uh, close this. Uh -huh. I'm going to make it now anyway. So, why would we not be able to? Was it? People have always said that. I, I've never understood why people say that. Do you know why people say that? 
no, and I heard it from many people. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I'm. Uh... I'm under the impression it stems from ignorance, but I, I, I've just never, whenever I've asked anyone to say why, like, like, you know, it's, it, you can make your sukkah before sukkahs. You just, it just doesn't, you, know, you can't use it necessarily. Um, but what, what I'm saying- What were you, wait, this of one. all the, wait, 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 can I click Kaylee from Mikdash v. Metahir? And then if we're all Tame, yeah. like if, if all of us are Tame, right. then what then was making them all like this or, Make them tame by practicality. I didn't catch the last part of the question. They yeah, are all tame. Uh, all of us are tame. Tame. So, right. so, so Therefore, tame. if we make them, they'll the okay one to be tame. Yeah, but you can be metahir then. Though. Okay. You know, okay. we just need the paraduma. Um, but so yeah, so this uh, menorah We're here. Not that. Or, or the works for, with for us, for us right? Oh, no, not for Caleb. No, no, but for, for right? right. But I'm saying like the, the, any. There's an, okay, let me maybe I'm misunderstanding the question. The, the problem is us being Tame, right? There's no hot in the human Tame. That's the question. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm not aware of, oh. I'm not aware of their problem. I'm, I'm not I, I was, Bucky and I, okay. I, I just don't know. I was thinking, yeah. okay, I guess, like I don't know for, I mean, I, I, if, 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 one, one thing at a time. If there were a problem with them being Tame, I think the people who are making these know that they're Tame. So okay. like, I assume that, you know, the, the, these are really expensive things here, you know? So I, the one, yeah, yeah, this is, this is real. Yeah, yeah. This is the one that they have. I, I mean, I think it's on public display. At least it was last time I was in Israel, but that was a very long time ago. Um, but the, what, when I, I remember when I asked them about that or when they were explaining it to us, they said that uh, if you make it out of pure gold, uh, then the arms will droop. Um, oh. because gold is a very soft metal. And uh, I don't know how they explain how the original menorah was made, uh, but they said that they can't make it out of gold. So what they did is I think they made it out of uh, another kind of metal and then like coated with gold or something like that. that a problem? I don't know. Went from one from Miksha, yeah, I don't, I, I, I don't know. I'm sure they have stuff on their website that we could like look in, into if we're oh, interested. Soft. Yeah, yeah, it's that soft. I mean, it's heavy. I mean, there's, it's a lot, lot of gold. Um, okay. One thing, by the way, that we do see though is that there's nothing so far that has said so far. I think there will be, but there's nothing so far that says sizes of things, right? Okay. So anyway, we were reading. Uh, so let's go back to uh, Gimel uh, Hey, right? Or Gimel Dalad, Gimel Dalad. So Bamim and Dvarma Murim. When do we say that all forty-two of the flowers and gvim and kaftorim are ma'ake of each other? That's only if the menorah is made out of zahav. But if they're made out of other types of metal, in osin ba gvim kaftorim ufrachim, we don't make gvim kaftorim and prachim. Okay, imagine a very very simplistic menorah made out of lead, a very sad menorah, right? So then it's just like uh, you know sticks. <laughs> just the middle, the middle kane and the the three kanim coming out of each side, and no no uh, adornments. What? Isn't that interesting? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What? What, what I just read? A uh, menorah without adornments. Without gavim, kaftorim, and prachim. I think that's pretty weird that they're ma'akev mm-hmm. when they're out of gold, but if you don't make the menorah out of gold, then they're not ma'akev, and you don't have them. Oh, you shouldn't have them. Yeah, right. Ain't no sin Kavim. Yeah. Um, and again, just on a very, very basic idea. Okay. And I Rabbi Zucker gave a whole shear on this, which is very good. Um, but uh, that the menorah is, ha- or not just the menorah, but especially the menorah has to reflect the uh, the bounty within Klal Yisrael. You know, like if Klal Yisrael is wealthy, then they make the menorah of gold, and the menorah is all decked out in these beautiful things. And if not, then it's just this plain like. You know, lead thing. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. V'chein menoras haba menorah haba zahav tiye kula kikar im neroseha v'tiye kula miksha min ha'ashartos. And likewise, a menorah that comes from gold, uh, all of it should be a a, a kikar. Um, a kikar is mishkal three thousand shkalim shel Torah. Okay, that's going to Rashi. Kol shekabul mishkal three hundred twenty girgari sorim sacha kol ke forty two. Uh, kilograms. Kilograms. Yeah, yeah. I'm don't know. I'm not familiar with the measurements here, but I just read that in case anyone's wondering. Okay, so um, it should all be miksha hammered out. Okay, uh, Rav Malbila says gush echad one lump. I think I think the gush is a lump. 
Let me just make sure that that word is correct. Gush uh, is a block or a lump or a mass. Yeah, one mass. Belochibor o halchama without any uh, like uh, attachment or halchama v'sheino halal. It's not hollow. Um, Miksha min ha'ashatos. And what are ashatos? So Rav Makbili says. Mateches golamis shelo hishtamshu ba kodem lachain. A metal. I'm gonna double check Chabad.org translation here. <laughs> um, hmm, interesting. Must be fashioned entirely by hammer out one block of gold. What does Ashatov mean? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what Ashatos means. Mm -hmm. uh, it says that uh, Vishal Shar, hold on. Yeah, Bachin Menora, Haba Zav, Tia Kula, Kikar, Imir, Sahab, Tia Kula, Mikra, Min Ashatos. I looked up Ashatos in this dictionary, I didn't have it. And this just says, Matechas Golamis, a metal form, Shaloha Hishtamshu Bakodam Lachain, which has not been used beforehand. You can't just mean new metal, can it? I mean, yeah, I don't know what it means. Okay, Vishalish R meaning a hammered out. What was that? Yeah, but it sounds like they're not. Yeah, I guess so. Meaning, I guess you have to get it straight out of the ore, or, you know, mine. Yeah. yeah, strange. Vishalish R meaning matachos and other types of metals in Machpidin al Mishkala. We don't, we're not Machpid about the weight. Im has a halula kshera, and if it's hollow, then it's kasher. So that's really interesting also, right? The, the, the lowest standard for the menorah is really low, right? It could be like this little thing that is just hollowed out and, uh, you know, without any flowers or, or fancy things. Yeah. Um, and then he says, um, uh, yeah. The ain osin osa la ola min ha grutaos. You can never make it out of the grutaos, which the Rav Makbili says, shivre clay matakas, is broken uh, fragments of, of uh, metal, or broken uh, uh, metal kalin. Bein shaisa shalazaha, bein shaisa shalashara mine matakos. Why does he have to say that well, if the gold one has to be made out of an entirely hammered thing? Why does he have to say that it shouldn't be made out of fragments? Let me just see how the Chabad.org translates that. Fragments of broken vessels, yeah. Kula, I'm asking when he says, Bain Shahisa, sorry, when he says, Inosin Sal El Min Habrutas, you cannot make it out of fragments of Kalim. Isn't that already? So I understand why you need to say that for the Mine Metaha, the other Mine Metaha, right. but if it's of Zahav, didn't he already say it has to be Kula Miksha? I mean, unless you can hammer fragments of things together uh, to make it into uh, one. I just don't know the properties of gold. Uh, no, yeah, yeah. you could get a bunch of, you could get, you, you know, to get the one, the key color one, you'd have to merge a bunch of smaller ones that never been used. Uh, yeah, I, I, I guess. I mean, yeah, I guess you could do that. You can't find the one. Right, but you would melt, you can melt it. I don't down. think it means, right. Right. Uh, yeah, I think that's general. I think that makes more happen in what Mitchum and I have mean, mm -hmm. that not it has to be one form, and it has to be something that one Right, right, correct. Yeah, we. You know, I got to remember to ask Sean. Can you just take a bunch of gold things and hammer them together into one block? You know, other metals. I don't know about gold. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I'm not, I, I don't know anything about gold. Gold is very. Yeah. Is flux, I guess flexible and malleable. Yeah. Okay, the Hamelkahayim, the Hamachov Uklea Shemin. Okay, the Melkahayim are these things, tweezers. <laughs> okay, uh, that is Kain Savas Latipul Bipsilos. That's to, I guess, arrange the wicks. Vamachtos and the pans. Uh Rav Makbi, this is Matos Kain Ya'a Lahaniach Bo Esapsilos Hamishumashos, Haefer uh uh Haefer Umosar Hashemin. So this is where you put the leftover, um, like the remnants of the, the narrows, uklea shemen, and the receptacles for, of the oil, ena michlala kikar. They are not included in the kikar of weight. Shahari namar, but menorah, zahav tahor. It says about the menorah, zahav tahor. V'chazar v'amar, umal kachahu makhtoseha zahav tahor. V'lo namar, neroseha zahav tahor. Mipnei shah neros kavuin ba menorah v'hin michlala kikar. So the narrows are 
part of the kikar, but the malkacheha and machtoseha are separate things. They're not included in the kikar. Okay. Shivas Kneha Menorah. So it's funny, he now gets to the Shivas Kneha Menorah. Yeah. Right? He hasn't talked about them yet, other than in the original uh, where you put the knobs and stuff. Shivas Kneha Menorah, Ma'akvin Zeze. They are Ma'ak of each other. I mean, you need seven. Vishiva Neroseha, Ma'akvin Zeze. And the nine Neros that are in on the Kneha Menorah uh, are Ma'ak of each other. Bein Shahaisa Shalazaha, Bein Shahaisa Shalashar Matakos, Mina Matakos, whether it's of gold or other ones. Kol Neros Kavuim Bakanim. And all of the Neros are, are uh, attached to the Kanim. Yeah. Okay, um, so again, if you look at the the, uh, you know, we should just go to the uh, Temple Institute. Temple Institute. I bet they have close-ups. I haven't been here in so long. Study tools, vessels. Oh, uh, pop up. Study tools, vessels, the menorah. Okay, yeah, so it's displayed outside. Um, okay. Uh, let's see if they have a close up of what? the candle, uh, the narrows attached to the. Oh, yeah, here, uh, let's just read this here. This is the thing about the pure gold. So it's a, a thick, unified surface of gold adhered to the armature by gold plating process developed. Oh, hold on a second. Wait. Oh yeah, a metal armature substructure was made, ensuring structural strength and stability. A thick unified one hammered mass of pure gold, miksha acha zahav, a surface of gold adhered to the armature by gold plating process, especially developed for the creation of the golden menorah. That's this interesting. Is all this is, this, this feels already unsure. Like maybe, I guess I probably know there's stuff one me. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're definitely relying on Cheetos. <laughs> um, yeah, so this, I guess, is the closest we're gonna get here. Of the Neros, wait, I can't say I want a closer one. Well, how do you know? <laughs> yeah, I can't really see a close up. All right, we'll we'll we'll, we'll, we'll read through this if we if we finish the Ramam uh, and I'll remember the Ramam today. All right. So anyway, back to this. Um, yes, yeah, so the neros are are attached to the kanim. Okay. Shisha haner and the ches. Shisha haneros hakluin b'sheishes hakanim. The six neros. We really, you know, I know people translate neros as, as candles. Really, lamps is a better translation. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, and because we we imagine neros like wax neros or something like that, right. you know. But yeah. the so the six lamps that uh, that are kluin in the six kanim hayotim in a menorah. Uh, Kulan Pnehem La Ner Ha Imsai, all of them uh, face towards the middle Ner, Sha'al Kneha Menorah, that is on the the Kneha Menorah. Vizeha Ner Ha Imsai, Panav Kneged Kodesh HaKadashim, and that Ner faces the Kodesh HaKadashim, Vuhu Nikra Ner Ma'aravi, that's called the Western Ner, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so uh, I think in the diagram it shows it pretty well. Yeah, see, so. Yeah. <laughs> Right, but I think it means the um, the flame comes out or, of the lamp on a particular side, so they orient the these facing the middle one and these facing the middle one, and then the middle one is facing is is uh, oriented towards the kosher Kadashim. Yeah, and that's the Nirma Ravi. Uh, let's see if he adds anything in the footnotes here. Panehem, yeah, he says um on ches hapesh apsila nesuna bo. Yeah, that is a good one. Right, right. So the 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 psila is here, and this thing has to face towards the middle, and then the middle one faces towards the kosher kadashim. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Panak kosher kadashim. Ha menorah nesuna bein tzafon ladaram. Right. So the menorah. Oh, so th this is the weird thing, right? The menorah is oriented um, south, south and north. Upi haner haim tzai b'ma'arav lekivun kodesh hakadashim. And the mouth of the middle nair is towards the west. Yeah. So, in other words, yeah. When the nair attached in the middle, or you can part of the middle, or is like when you put on the top of the top. When you say nair, you mean the lamp? Yeah. The nair is attached to the menorah. That's what he said in the end of Zion. No, I'm saying it's not. No, didn't he? No, he said it's not part of the weight. 
of a key car, but it is attached. Wait, when did he say that the narrow one is part of the key car? Uh, so no, the nearest are part of the key car, sorry. The Malka Chayel Maktov Seha and oh, Clea Shemin are oh, attached. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, but just again, just picturing here. So if you're facing the Kodesh HaKadashim, which is west, you know, the Kodesh HaKadashim is oh. the west. So the, the, the menorah is facing south to north. And all of the middle candles face the, uh, sorry, all of the side candles face the middle one. And the middle one is jutting out towards the Kodesh HaKadashim. Mm -hmm. And the menorah itself is in the right. south. Right. So yeah. The menorah is oriented. Okay. <laughs> so here, here's here's what let's do. I, 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 yeah. yeah, okay, hold on. Um actually you want maybe I should draw this. Let's use paint. <clears throat> okay, so this is the Kodash Okay. Uh -huh. And uh and north is sorry, west is that way. Um east is this way. And Wait, what? north is this way, uh, oh. and south is this way. So here is. I don't know. Oh, sorry, I meant to say this is the Kodesh, not the Kodesh Kodesh. Is that what yeah. confusing? No, yes, no, 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 no. no. Oh, I was thinking you put west and east on the same time, and didn't realize you were not putting it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, okay, so the Kodesh Kodesh is. Hold on. Pardon me, because I'm not an artist. Kodesh HaKadashim, uh, actually, let's, let's just do the, the, the whole thing here. Okay, so Kodesh HaKadashim is here. Okay, hold on. This is uh, Kodesh HaKadashim is here. Um, and then the... Um, what was that? So the menorah... Is going to be over here. Yeah, and the shulchan is over here, and the uh, the mizbah haktoris. I think I always forget if it is here or if it's here or if it's here. I forgot where it's. It's somewhere along in the center line, uh -huh. and the. From the Hanim, from the middle Hanim, it's in that way. The 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 middle, yeah. So the the direction of the, the middle man is facing towards the Hanim. Yeah, and the other ones are facing inward towards the yeah. middle. Yeah, yeah. The other ones are facing like that and like that. <laughs> if this makes sense, right? It looks like a uh, reverse inward. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah. I'm more thinking of some weird quantum diagram. <laughs> That's that could also be. Yeah. Oh, we've got to do the uh, the Aron, right? And the Aron of Kodesh is in the Kodesh Akadashim. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. That okay. definitely helps. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. It's at least as good as the Ramam's drawing. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah. All right. That's the Nair Marabi. Okay. Um fine. Okay. So then, Hagviim Domin Lakosos Alexandria. Okay, so the the goblets, the cups. Oh, look, he has a picture right here. I just didn't even know. I didn't scroll down far enough. Yeah, all right, fine. Mine's still better. <laughs> uh, okay, Hagviim Domin Lakosos Alexandria. So the the cups are like, oh, sorry, the the yeah, the Gvim are compared to Alexandrian cups. Shapihem Rachav Vishulehen Katsar. That their uh, their mouths are wide, and their um, the shulim are like the bottoms. I don't know exactly what you call it in cup anatomy. Uh, is is narrow. Vakaftorim. Funny how he's defining them now. And not, um, not really. Yeah, we're talking about them. Vakaftorim come in tapuchim berutiim, and kaftorim are like berutian uh, uh, apples, or I don't know what tapuach uh, meant back then, like berutian fruit. Shehem arukin ma'at, which are a little elongated, kibitza sheshne rosheha kadin, like an egg that has two sharp tips. <laughs> we're, we're gonna have to see, see uh, if, if uh, my Ram has a picture, my Mishnah Torah's picture. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Is this an Alexandrian goblet? I don't know. I guess this, no, I feel like this is a, an example of uh, why the Torah couldn't give more specific instructions because there was no such thing as Alexandria. Uh, <laughs> you know, I'm saying it because it's just like whatever it gives, it's going to be garbled nonsense. Yeah. Gavia, Mishukad. Um, so this is an almondized uh, Gavia. 
Paftor Mishukat Ufera Ufera Iur Mishuar. I don't know what Iur is. Yeah. Um, okay, but let's just go back here. The um, Prahim and the flowers, Kamo Pirche Ha'amudim. Shehim Kamo Ara Usfasak Fula Lahus. Let's just look at Kabata Ork here. Uh, so it says here that the the goblets resembled Alexandrian chalices. They had wide mouths and narrow bases. Uh, ooh, what does that footnote say? Kafak's publication of the Ramam's drawing of the menorah shows the goblets in an inverted position, right? We were wondering about that. Note also the drawing accompanying halacha too. Rabbeinu Bachai in Exodus 25, 31 explains the symbolism of the inverted position. A goblet serves two functions. We'll just read this while we're here. It enables the collection of liquids and offers the opportunity of pouring the liquids when desired. Thus, the goblets are symbolic of the heavenly spheres, which receive influence from the heavenly sources and convey it to our lowly world. Okay, that's what they thought. Uh, the main purpose of the menorah was to shed light on the... Okay, that's philosophy. Okay, fine. Uh, the bulbs were like the apples of Keros. Oh, so this is interesting. So this is a, a, a different Girsa. Kerusian, as opposed to Arsid oh, Berutian, yeah. Um, don't worry, I won't check the 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 uh, the, the yeah, check it out. Uh, Not now. Because yeah, um, uh, we don't really know what Kerutian uh, apples or Berutian apples are anyway. Just right. slightly elongated, resembling eggs with both ends rounded. Um, yeah. In his commentary on the Mishnah, the Raman also emphasizes that the bulbs were not entirely round. Okay, fine. Um, the flowers resembled the flowers of a column. They're shaped like bowls with the edges bent outward. So, so is this yeah. the explanation of Shekinim? No, the Shekinim was earlier. He says there's a well, Shekinim was a well-known. Um, no, no, what I'm saying is this, is, is this what he's saying Shekinim is? No. No, he said what Shekinim was, was earlier. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, meaning all of these things have to be, have the Shekinim method applied to it. Uh, let's see if they have a good picture in here. Okay, this is Tahara. This is all in Tahara. Where it is? Here we go. Corvanos, Avoda. No, no Alexandrian palaces for us. Yeah. Okay, fine. Um, yeah. Okay. Now we go back to the halachos. Oops, not the not the beautiful drawings. Um, okay, Gavoa Gova Hamenora, the height of the menorah. Oh, unless wait, unless there's anything else that we're missing here. Birutim is Hagdelim Izur Ha'ir Beirut Shiv Lebanon. Okay, so Izur Beirut is like Davka Beirut, like modern day Beirut mm -hmm. in Lebanon. I bet that's an old city. Arukin Maat Biachas Lerochvam. So they're long compared to the width. Kadin is Al Galgalim is rounded. Sheinam Chadim not sharp. And Pirche Ha'amudim is Kosros Ha'amudim Hamukushatim. Is he talking about like, like, no, I don't know what that means. Okay, fine. All right, let's go to the, the height. Gova Menorah Hayashmona Asar Tafach. Okay, so now we got the actual size. So the height of the menorah is eight Tafachim. Okay. Oh, sorry, eight. Shimona, sorry, yeah, correct, 18. Haraglayim uh, Vaperach Shlosha. The feet of the menorah and the Perach. Are three Ushnit Fahim Halak? Oh, hold on. Yeah. Let's just look at this first, okay? <laughs> just to get an orientation here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, I'm counting fourteen. Am I missing something here? Three, four, five. Oh, I see. I'm missing. Wait. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, I got 18. All right. So let's, let's just look at the diagram here. Um, so the base is three to five. Okay. And that includes the parach. Okay. okay. Then, I mean, we haven't read this part in the wrong way, but then you've got two to until the next. Uh, until the 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 perach kafter gvia um, bunch that is one tefach, then two more tefachim, and then the kafter is a tefach, and then a tefach in between, and then kafter is a tefach, then tefach in between, then kafter is a tefach, and then two tefachim, and then each of the top parts of each kana are three tefachim. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Oh, yeah, that works out. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, so now let's read it in the thing. So the, the whole base from the legs to the parach, right. including the parach is mm-hmm. three. Then two tefachim that divide it. The tefach shebo gavia v'kafter v'ferach. Then a tefach in which there is a gavia kafter and perach. Then tipchaim chalak. Then two tefachim of space. Then the tefach kafter, tefach of a kafter. Ushne kanim yotim mimenu, uh, and then two kanim that go out from it. Echad helach, echad helach. One on that side, one on that side. Nimshachim ve'olin keneged goba hamenora, and they extend and go up to the height of the menorah. See, this is where. Right, this is where the, the question about the uh, diagonal, uh, the straight or the bent is going to be, uh, which he doesn't say, right? Just olin keneged goba ha menorah. Yeah, what does that mean? Why keneged goba. Is it, I don't know what it means. Yeah, that, in the Ramam, that means straight. Yeah, I, I, I think, I mean, I, I would have said it straight. Keneged I mean, goba ha menorah. Keneged, well, keneged goba ha menorah, corresponding to the goba ha menorah. I suppose to what, though? I suppose uh, corresponding to the height of the middle kind of this point if you're gonna say curved, how would you say that in the sense how would you say what angle the curve is? I don't know. I don't even know. Uh, yeah. I, yeah, you can say it. You can say it. There's there's ways to say it. Yeah, it's certainly a different. Yeah. The tevach kalak and then another tevach of space, the tevach kaftor, and then tevach of kavoy. So where are we now? Uh, oh yeah, tevach here, and then tevach kaftor, then tevach halak, then tevach kaftor. That's probably going to say that. Tevach, yeah. Ushnei kanim yotim mimenu echad helach echad helach. Vnim shachim ba'olin keneged goba hamenora. V'tibchaim v'tibchaim halak nishtayu shlosh tevachim shabehen shlosh gavim. So then you've got three tevachim in which there are three gavim kaftor v'aferah v'zohi tsurasa, and that is the tsura, and that's where the Raman grew his thing. Yeah. Okay. Fine. That's good. The even haisa lifnei hamenora. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't think I, so. I don't know that. Yeah. yeah that. Negative, I, that's where that comes from, then. I don't know. What right, yeah. Connected Goba Menorah. I'm assuming it comes from his diagram. <laughs> yeah, right. Which, again, I don't know if that's a solid deal because, like, the diagram is very ru- rudimentary, you know? Yeah. 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 Uh, okay. Well, we'll read it in the, in the, the template to people in a second. Um, uh, okay, the Evan Haisa Lifneha Menorah Uba Shalosh Malos. There was a stone in front of the menorah, and on it were three steps. Shalaha coin omed umeti besaneros, umniach alaha clay shamna umalkaha umaktosa bishas hatava. Oh, that was depicted in my in my picture. Um, uh-huh. the, yeah, so the you can see it in the back there, the, the three um, stairs that you have to go up on in order to uh, get to the menorah. Um, Oh yeah. Oh right. Yeah. There's one rego there. Is that? Yeah. It doesn't we, we didn't read anything about what the base has to be, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. So umaniyah alaha clay shamna. You put on it the the oil vessels umalkaha and it's um how do we translate malkaha? It's uh it's tweezers, right? Uh, umachtosa and its pans bishasatava at the time when you're when you're uh, doing the candles. Okay, so that's the end of the menorah halachos. Okay, um, so I mentioned before you got here, Chaim. Uh, another way to get additional stuff from the Ramam possibly is from Avram ben Ramam. So let's uh, let's do that. Okay, and see where it takes us on the psukim. Maybe he'll address some of your questions about the psukim. So chaf he lamed alef vasisa menorah zahav tahor. Uh, make a menorah out of pure gold. Miksha te ase ha menorah. The menorah should be made out of uh, should be hammered out. Yerecha v'kana its base and its uh, its uh, its stem. Gavieha kaftora ufrachaha mimeno yehiu. Its cups, its kaftorim, its prachim should be from it. Okay. Avram ben Rama. Asisa menoras menoras v'gomer yerecha. Agulas hatosheves shela asher ba raglaha. What does that mean? The circle Hatosheves Shala. I don't know what Tosheves is. Um, hold on. Tosheves. Tosheves is, is, is tapet or base for feet or frame. So it's circular. He's saying it has to be a circular base uh, that a, has a, feet. A circular scissor. 
sit, sitter, like S I T T E R. Yeah. 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 <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, look at footnote Kuf Tes Vav. Okay. At the bottom, Ladas Rashi Hatoshevis Haisa Mirubas. According to Rashi, the base is square. Vasuya Kimin Teba, and it's made like an arc. Is that true that the Ramam's thing is circular? I mean, it's as circular as, uh, I mean, I guess, yeah, there's, there, there, yeah, mm-hmm. that's. Why are you in art? Aren't you in your last way? Who are you saying? Rashi, no, I think he means like a block, like a table, like a like an arc. Uh, and he's saying that the Rama depicted it as uh, as circular. Yeah. What was it? No, no, an arc like a like Aron Hakodesh type arc, or like a teva that you put a Torah uh, in. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, all right. Uh, yeah. So it's funny. So he's saying that it seems like. <laughs> see, this is if this is true, if Aram and Ram got it from the Ramam's uh, diagram, then you see that Aram and Ram is medallic from the Ramam's diagram. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, next, uh, Vakana uh, is some Arabic word. Okay, um, cuts whatever you want to say that. Gvi'eha, so he says, Belita bikaneha, bidimion hakos, a protrusion from the kane that is similar to a cup, right? Not, in other words, it's not an actual cup. Right, it's that you, when you hammer it out, you hammer a protrusion from the kana that looks like a cup. Rahav milamala v'katzer milamata, wide on top and narrow below. See, that's interesting. Wouldn't that seem to imply that they're not upside down? I, no, no. I guess he's saying what the type of cup is, but he's not saying how it's positioned on the menorah. Gezerasa min ve'esgvi'i gvi'ah hakesaf, and uh, the term gvi'ah comes uh, is derived from from our parsha, right? Parsha's mikets. Uh, footnote. So the Ramam there, Avram and Ramam elaborates on the explanation of Gvia. Gvia Shemakos. Gvia is the type, uh, the name of a cup. Like those glass cups in the eastern lands. Asher Lahen Moshav Agul that has a circular base, Na'e, that's beautiful, Shein Yoshvos Allah, that it sits upon. Ukfi Orchan Hin Misrachvos. Uh, so the, uh, basically it'll widen into a wider circle than its base. The El Surazo Ramza Hatora Bamamar Shlosha Giviim. That's the, the form that the Torah is alluding to when it says three Giviim, Klomar Suras Giviim, the, the form of Giviim, Kamosha Biar Shibira Hakabala Hanakona, as is uh, the true tradition uh, reflects. Okay, so that's the Gaviyaha. Kaftoreha, Blita, Batavnis, Tapuach, Shell, Min, Miucha, Domi, Latsuras, Habeta. Okay, so this is something that we didn't realize when we were going through it. So we just translate Kaftoreha as its knobs, but really these are fruit shaped knobs. The either the Birutian apples or the Kirutian apples. That look like eggs. That look like eggs, yeah. Um, yeah, and he says there, Hishve footnote kufiyud zayin. Oh, sorry, hold on. We skipped a paragraph. Amna mashma milashon rabbeinu shirak mi bechina chitzonis hayu gavia ha hamenora nirim kugavim. The Amram ben Ram was mashma that only externally uh, in its structure did the gavim of the menorah resemble cups. Ah, lo haya lehem base kibul klal. Ah, that's interesting. But they don't have any actual receptacle space. Uvenigad lepirche hamenora kfishi var rabbeinu lahan. So it's like cups that are solid inside. He's just saying the outside shape is is, is cup like, but the but the inside is. I mean, like whatever the last cup is, it means you know, like filled in. Yeah, it's filled in. Yeah, yeah. It's more like cones, but like no. like solid cones, but they're shaped like cups. Yeah. How is it marshmallow? How is it marshmallow from the Alvar Mitteramam? I think he's saying it's it's Belita Bakanin Bedimion Hakos. 
it's a protrusion from the kana that has the resemblance to a cup. Not that you actually hammer cups into the kana. I think. Yeah. Right, but he's not saying that though. Or you mean you're saying you could say that I'm for him? Saying, saying that. Oh, you're saying he could be saying that. Belita Bukana. Yeah, he could be saying that. Yeah. I don't know. Um Okay, then Kuvyud Zion, Hishra Hirsh, Hakatra, Laharav, Avram, and Ezra, Shkaza Bushim, Rub Sadigon, Shuhu Kain Tapuach, Hankas of Haradak, Basharashav, Shuresh Kaftor, Vidivrahim, Musadim, Alash and Hagamar, Bamanachos, Shamru, Shuhu, Dome, Latapuach, Hakir. Also, I guess the Gemara is the one that says it's like a Kirutian apple. Mm -hmm. So we have to check out that Girsa also, whether it's Birutian or Kirutian. <laughs> yeah, but I also don't know if I would trust that Gemara. Uh, uh, Masifta would probably have the, the if there's differences in the... Um, uh, the Girsa. Oh, it's funny, they quote the Kurutim also. Oh, sorry, who's Zan? So the Ramam is specifying it because it is a um, uh, different shape than other tapukhim, but who doma lebeta and similar to an egg, but meshu yoser sugal gal miyasher agul. It's more, I guess, uh, oblong than circular. I don't know. Velo noda bebir minayin lo laharamim turaza. We don't know where the Ram got this from. Wula yada came mihani sayon. Maybe he got it from experience. Ohayla makor kadum shene alam itano, or he had a hidden source, a classic hidden source. Okay, mm. let's skip the um, skip the brackets. Back to our men ramam. Uh, ah, that's how he gets it. Because here by the flowers, he says it is similar to a hollowed out bowl. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. That's Yoti Mimena, Kufiud Ches, compared to the Rambam. Okay, fine. Next. Ah, so is that is he saying it straight? He's saying branches that extend from the body of the menorah to, to the side of its top, biosher, straight. Kamoshitsir also of Amarizal, yeah. A uh, little to the wrong. No. Oh, low the eagle, not circular. Not curved, I mean, not curved. Kamo yeah, Kamoshitsir also Osa Zulaso, not like the other people draw it. You must have been wrong. I'm going to mention that. You're right, in the Halakos, right? Yeah, yeah, that is funny. And not just like, oh, no, no, it's all my drawing. Yeah. Let's see what the, uh, I bet he has a discourse on the drawing here. Let's look at your test. He need Nechliko Rishon Ketzot Haisa Tzuras HaMenorah. So the Rishon argue about how the form of the menorah was. Shadadas Rashi, Hakanim Hayu Yesharim Vyatsu Mitzideh HaLakan Ulakan Ba'alachson. Oh, so Rashi also holds. He's saying the the according to Rashi, the kanim were straight and they emerged from the sides and the menorah here and here diagonally. Chainsir Haramam the Ksav Yad Kafech, I think, the Firsh Mishnayos, Minachos Gimelzain, the Chainhu the Ksav Yad Atikim Shel Hayad Chazaka. So Ramam also is like Rashi. The Ilu Acherim. No, he's saying that he drew it. Sir Haram. Yeah. The Ilu Acherim Kasvush Akanim Hayu Olim the Eagle Lekivon Rosha. Others say that the Kanim were curved uh, circularly or whatever in a cur curvature uh, towards its its head. The Al Kopanim Lishtei Deos Elus Has Histaimu. Shivas Haneros Bekav Echad Yashar. But according to both Shidos, the ends of the Neros form a uh, uh, an even line. Deir Shlishi is he, whoa, third Deir is Rav Sadigon, Rav Avram and Ezra, Shekne Menorah Hayu Misubavim Saviv Haner Haemtsai Kechati Goren Kmin Atara. They hold that it circles the middle thing like a crown. John. It's not let me bust out. Like the, I, I'm thinking like this, you know, spiral. Oh, I can't, like, hold on. I don't think it means it goes in a circle. What else would the surrounding mean? So it's like a spiral. Meaning, okay, meaning like this. If, well, like, hmm. I find it meant like this. Like that. 
But the difference between that and the second shita is what? Oh, the second shita is flat. But, uh, mm -hmm. In the middle, the middle hana would be like new, and the other hana would be higher. Can you draw it on the back of the, the thing with the. Yes. Yeah. Also, the raceable cell. <laughs> As things like that. Mm -hmm. Let me see if anyone has this. I'm saying like that, that's the middle corner. And then it goes like that. Oh, I see. We're, we're so talking. different meaning not in one then, line. No, 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 Right, right. Not in one line. Yeah, yeah, I see. I see. So it's, it's it's not a third sheeta in terms of the arms. It's a third sheeta in terms of. You know, see, but then why is he calling it a third? Well, I guess it's just a third sheeta. Yeah, fine. It is, it is a third sheeta. Let me just see if hold on. Sadia Gaon Menorah. See if there's any images here. Not shopping. Sorry, I meant to click images. <laughs> uh, let's do on Sadia Gaon Menorah. No, what about Ibn Ezra and Menorah? How do we surround the middle layer of this? Hold on, just one second. Hmm. Surrounding the middle layer. Right. Uh, You're saying you can do like an actual circle? Like that in the middle layer and the other side? Let me just read it. They actually just he does for Sadi Gunnar Runner says, Shaknea Menora, Hayam, Subavim, Savi. I think it's a little, because you have it there as in, no, when you know. go like a spiral. <laughs> that's, um, that's, wait a minute. That's oh, nice. that's interesting. That's not at all that's, but, 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 where are the, the six Kanim? Like, I mean, they're all, like, they're all different spirals. They make one, one, I don't know, around the one. <laughs> wait, let, let's see if this Ibn Ezra uh, is in the actual Ibn Ezra on the Sukkim here. Um, uh, Ibn Ezra, Pir Shashani, he said. Um, what, what puzzle is this that we're doing? Uh, 32? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. You're saying the surrounding because like it's a slope leading into the yeah. Well, I'm getting it more like a triad. To me, not Tara. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I realize I, I'm, I'm not getting it more from the Muslim. I, I mean, I guess I was. Oh, yeah, I, I don't know. really understand. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, fair enough. I, yeah. Like, I also realized there were flaws in my mind. I don't know. I don't look like a frown. A spiral. I don't really proud. I don't know. Hmm. Saudi going to say anything here? I guess we're going to have Saudi going for this. All right. Anyway, yeah. There were no images. No, uh, I, mean, I, mean, I looked at Ibn Ezra here, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, he, he, I, I couldn't find where he uh, describes the branches. It's not like, unless it's in um, his first parish. Let's see. It's in his first parish. Uh, uh, where are we? Okay, that's what you got him. In a half circle. See, I thought he meant like that the middle candle is here. And the and the narrow circle it. Or what's narrow? I thought I thought like a crown. Oh yeah. But no, but yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'll, I'll, well, I gotta ask people about what's, it. What's narrow? Narrow arranged. Ze achar ze kachati agul. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not. I'm not able to picture this. When that same way is that in Hindu? Well, the, the difference is that the second shita is well. Okay, no, like this. Maybe it's like this. Okay, so so the, like your dog could try to do curve. So hold on. So so the the second shita is middle one, and then uh, mm. like curves, right? Mm. Ibn Ezra's is like like curves around it somehow, or in a half circle. 
I think maybe it's maybe the moon and yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It works like this. Yeah, exactly. And and yeah. That is a radically different. Yeah. And is it straight that way or like curved that way? I assume. Or, or it, it, has to, it, have to, it has to be curved in at least one dimension. Yeah, so let me stop you, Henry. Yeah, the Kachi Goran Kaminatara, right? Like a crown. I guess I can make the, all the Kamin straight. Yeah, no, it, yeah it, you can make them straight. You can make them straight, right? It, it just, no, that's right. So, oh, no, no, yeah, no, 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 why, why, yeah, we didn't know about that. The most gonna. We did Moshe. <laughs> All right, let's see. Kavanas Rabbeinu Khan Yesh Malcolm Eon. So the intent of the Ben Ramam needs an analysis here. Yesh appears to have returned to the Hokiach Mitzir Rosh Haramam, Rak to Lokadas Harav Avram Ben Ezra Rav Sadigon Shai Oneres Kamin Atara. Some say explain that his intent was only to prove from the, the picture of the Ramam that it's not like Ibn Ezra and Sadigon, uh, and, uh, who said that the Neros are like a crown shape. Ah, Lo Bal Hokiach Karashi Shekneim Menora Yatu Balachson. But not that it's like Rashi, where it's uh, it's diagonal, all right. Uh, meaning some that's where I guess people want to say that the Rambam. Yeah. It's definitely saying it's not circular, right? No, but I think yeah. Why not? Yeah. No, but hold on. Uh, but but, but it, it, it's, it's not definitively like Rashi, yeah, because Yosher, Yosher, I think, is the top. But the low eagle part, he's saying that maybe low eagle just is the low eagle of Sadigon and Ibn Ezra, not the low eagle of right, of right. the of the second sheeta. The Harbe Nislabatu Bedavarze. A lot of people are. Oh, I always forget what Nislabatu means. What is Labat? I think it means like they're upset or something. I don't know. Labat. Um, Labat is, yeah, or a doubtful. Many of them are doubtful about this matter. Bram, Kol, Ram, Yegeim, all these things are exhausting, wearying. It's clear that this is not the Avram and Ramam's Lashon, his intent. I mean, Lashonam Mora, Bibirashu, Mitar HaOfen, Shegiu, Lakanim, Latsad, Rosha, Bilvad. His language indicates clearly that he is describing the manner in which the Kanim reach the Tzad Roshach Bilvad, meaning meaning he's only talking, I think he's only talking about that it goes to, yeah. However, I will add, however, I'll add that there is no proof for this from the fact that he he refers to those who argue with this by the name Zulaso. That's not a uh, a statement of degradation. Um, okay. In other words, he would have mentioned uh, In other words, if it was Sadiqan, he would have said Sadiqan that he was trying to exclude. Well, a hundred thing that Yeah, he's saying, yeah, in other words, I'm not saying that. Correct, right. Um, but he's also he's saying he's adding though that even if you want to say that he's excluding someone, don't say he's excluding Sadigon because he would have just had Sadigon Zulaso. Vagam ino mina nimna shiachlo probeno al mefarshim elu mi bli lefartam bishmam. Okay, or Ravram and Ravram could be arguing with those guys without mentioning them by name. But Ad Rabba Zomi Darcho Hanimusius Haragila Befirusha Kumavor become a dokte. But and that's what he usually does. Oof, okay. Well, he said in you mean in the brackets? Yeah. In the brackets, he he says elsewhere he does refer to Sadigon and others, but then he also says it's not impossible for Avram Ben Ram to disagree with Sadigon without mentioning him by name, as he, he does said, in other places. I thought he said he's referring to Sadigon as others. Oh no, I thought not. Uh, I thought he was saying that if this Zulaso is. Yeah, yeah. But I, 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 the way I'm reading it, though, is he's. Yeah, yeah. I don't really care, though. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, let's just finish this off really quickly here. Um, uh, or not really quickly. Yeah, let's actually stop for now. I'm gonna see if I can get someone to draw or find a picture of what this shita is of Sadiqon and Ibn Ezra. And then what I'd like to do for tomorrow, finish off Ramin Ramam, and then uh, I I think there's something short on the menorah in the more Nebuchim. Mm -hmm. So we could do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you just won't be here for the night, but you are planning to be here for. Okay. Uh, I, okay. I guess the I I guess feel like the pencil of the room is we 